to another video. It's currently 6.32 a.m. Tuesday the 29th of November 2022. It is 24 degrees Celsius apparently. Don't know how long ago that was updated on my watch but this is a bit of an idea. North Queensland, it is Cairns. We're in Lake Street at the moment. Looks like the sun's trying to come out. It's been rainy the last few days, so nice to actually get some sun. Very, uh, it's been very overcast and quite horrible, so to see some blue skies is really good. Trying out a new new device. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket Extension Rod. I'm trying that out. So if you see any little differences, then you'll know why. So we're going to go from Lake Street to to Bunnings, the more scenic route. getting used to the speed of this on here. Well good but this is Lake Street Shields Street intersection where City Place used to be. City Place was just there while we're in this area. And there used to be a bus terminal like transit centre down here. So we're gonna head towards the Esplanade down Shield Street. See what we can get. See how much we can capture this time of the day. Remember, this used to be uh, used to be Rockman's. No, a lot of people call it Rockman's Corner. And there was Rockman's there. So we're going to take our time so we can see as much, much of the detail as we can. It's not just a touristy video, it's a for history, so you can look back and see what sort of shops were around, what things were around. Past and future generations to see. There's a lot of Cairns videos in my Cairns playlist on Best of Times Reborn. Try, try our best to show as much detail as we can while respecting other people's privacy. This is how we do it. For those that are new, that's the way, the way we do it here. beautiful time of the day. It's not too hot. So keep an eye out for council workers and that doing their thing. 
so we don't run into them. We're coming up on Abbott Street, which is the one going across here. Travels here, and you get time zone down there, which also goes around the corner. So it goes behind these particular shops. This here was the Katie Center for a very long time. So if you go left here, uh, right here, that'll take you down to Woolworths, what I class as Woolworths in the city, or the city Woolworths. Corner of Shield and Abbott. Okay. And you've got the Cairns Art Gallery across here. Nice little building here. If I remember correctly, it's a courthouse. Might have to cut the sound in a few places due to copyrighted music. So bear with me. Music here. Look, okay, everything's happening down there with the fire brigade. So we'll cross over so it doesn't interfere with any of, the, any of their works. There's two fire trucks around and a lot of fire brigades standing around doing, doing whatever it is they're doing. So, So we'll go, we're going down Shield Street. Mm. Do you know which bus gets 133? It's 133. And double with your speaking. Hmm. That's up. We're going in there. Oh, we have moved to Abbott Street. They've moved to Abbott Street. Whichever place was in there. And then you've got travel shop, cafe cube. And you've got Quicksilver, and you've got where Pie Face used to be. So if you're wondering, trying to work out where I am, this is where Pie Face used to be. And even Lacoste, premium brands, Lacoste was there. Okay. Keep moseying on along, this is all fairly new, done in the last couple of years. when you're walking around these sort of areas you got to bypass some unsavory types as you can probably hear in the background I can't go exactly where I'd like to go but gives you a bit of an idea what the area is like So this used to be for two-way traffic, now it's only one way. And the Esplanade is closed to all traffic except for commercial vehicles. So commercial vehicles accepted. It's a lot nicer to come along here. There's a lot less traffic. This 
you fire trap. Along the Esplanade and go that way to Bunnings. Yes, like I said, it's a scenic route, a scenic route, however you want to say it. Well, see, this doesn't move a little too fast for my liking. So I may have to change a few settings somehow. Christmas tree. Well, that is way too fast for my liking. Let's see what, what we can do. No, that's the only way that I can actually change that at the moment. So I'll just continue along the way end up down at the promenade of the um, marina and all that. beautiful location along here. signs like they got in New York and all that now down here that should show the temperature and all that as well well different to the old ones Let's have a quick look lifeguards are not babysitters fair enough children under 13 years must be actively supervised at all times by a person 18 years or older children under five years and non-swimmers must remain within the lifeguards see if we can get the temperature in that because it came up before when I look back no littering no dogs no alcohol no glass that's good it's a beautiful garden something here okay it's got the time there it should be in digital as well I think underneath it in digital would be cool it's quarter to seven PM. Okay. I think we missed the temperature. Yeah, anyway, we'll keep going. Do our thing. So as best we can. This is usually full of people later in the day, like crazy amounts of people. Especially in the heat, which it'll get hotter and hotter today. Usually it gets around anywhere between 30 and 34. Yeah, bear with me with this new device. Trying to get it to pan and tilt, that sort of thing, at a good speed. So this is, it says it's 26.7 degrees. 
Pepsi Aqua Lagoon cans, Aqua Lagoon Cafe. So we'll show the can. Very nice. Very nice down here. 6.49 a.m. You've got the ocean just over there. You can probably see off in the distance. Got a lot of um, areas over here for barbecuing. Some really nice flowers over there. Let's see what they've got on this sign. These are all new since I last came along here. It was a couple of months ago. That's got your temperature, 24 degrees. Probably the same stuff that's on that other sign. Every time I try to show the temperature, apart from that little one just before near the cafe, it changes. There is lifeguards on duty here most of the time. Kookaburra barbecue. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to change for a while, so I might just mosey on. There we go, six, there we go, that's what I wanted to say, 24 degrees, 96% humidity, feels like 27, UV index 9, and it's 6.49, there we go. Wind direction, all that. Cool, that's what we wanted to see. All that. Okay. Go across to the waterfront. We'll continue on our journey. To my right, you got the pier marketplace, or what used to be called the pier marketplace. To my left, we've got mud flats, the ocean, the lagoon, places like that. If you head down to my right and just keep going, oh, to my left, sorry, I'm going to go all the way down. You get to the skate park. There's a playground right down the other end. There's a big boardwalk and walking area all the way down. So there's all your, like your barbecue areas, another one. In the lagoon. And then the waterfront all along here. Very nice along here. Certain hours of the day, the tide's right in at the hours. It's all mud flats. where we just came from. And do a slight 360. 
very nice one. Yeah, there's your, your pier or pier marketplace, whatever you want to call it, pier cans. Across there. This looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. The airplane's going over. See the Cairns Airport across there. Mm. The information about Cairns sister cities going here. to turn in this camera with this new device that's just connected to it. You be very patient with it. There's a pier there. So they class this as the boulevard, what it says there. Awesome. Let's keep going up. The helipad where the helicopters come out where you can go for a bit of a ride a fly in a helicopter the Pierre Heliport scenic flights as you can see on the sign GBR helicopters Point, that white building to my little, to my right. A nice little cafe here. No fishing. There's no fishing along here. This part. Boat shed. Cairns Yacht Club boat shed. Very nice along here, but we'll continue this way due to time constraints. And I don't want the video to end up being two hours long. Oh, it's really nice to have a look along here though and see the full detail. So, show a little bit more. A stunning location. Here at Halleyport. I guess that's where you can book your tours, scenic flights, tours, and departures. It's got written on there. Okay, Jock Club, straight ahead. Currently 6.56 a.m. Let's see if we can show these.
if it's possible to read it. The lighting's a bit hard, but if you can, feel free to pause at any time to read things, to see in a bit more detail. Salt House. Yeah, this is called the Salt House. Try and show the sign. Okay. I'm oh, sorry about that moving so fast, but I'll have to play with the settings for, for the next video. Make sure it's all sorted out. So that's a pizzeria written on there. Here across there, and that is the Shangri La on top of it. That have a beautiful view of the water. This is all the marina and all that along here. This is where all the boats and all that go out to the reef and other locations. Nice walk along here. So far, I've gone by my watch, we've done a kilometre walk. <laughs> the Shangri La Hotel and the Pier. We'll try and show the Shangri La Hotel sign, which is up here. Clean, a bit of a spruce up. That's the way it goes. Well. Clean along here. A bit of a sanding too, it looks like. Okay, we'll go for a quick detour through here, as it's really nice along this part. Not that it wasn't nice along the rest of it. This tree canopy, canopy, it's really nice. So we'll do a walk, 
with the camera facing straight and then we'll do one with the facing up as I come back come back through hey what well, in the boiling hot of the day this is actually usually a few degrees cooler here curlew doing its thing don't know if that showed up on camera I didn't get to zoom in anyway let's keep going along to get the animal turned back and show the tree canopy how nice it is along here reef fleet plaza they call this part problem along here they birds in the trees okay so we're heading back Look up at the tree canopy you know, on our way through. Part, so we'll cut through here so can see a little bit more of what's in this particular spot. It's probably the most scenic way of getting to, to Bunnings from the city. Not the most practical in walking distance, but it's very nice anyway so I would highly recommend it feel free to share the video like comment subscribe help us out try my best not to rush so I can um, so we can see as much as possible this is the Marlin Wharf over here I like calling here a lot of things boat shed. This is called the boat shed. Give you a bit of an idea. There you are. Pause to read. So this is one of the spots where a lot of boats go out to the reef from here. Oh. Sunset bar.
Dundee's. Yeah. Dundee's waterfront dining. Beautiful view. Yeah, nice place to sit and relax. Okay, you got Ollie's Italian. Let's look back where we just came from. Bit of an idea. And the lighting might be a little better to see. Centre via Waterfront Boardwalk, Leafleet Terminal, Marlon Marina, Lagoon and the Esplanade. Okay. Harbour Lights. So this is Harbour Lights, this one here, this big one. It's above all these cafes and restaurants. We call it Harbour Lights. Might be able to see the sign down there. A bit further down, it says Harbour Lights. It's another really nice spot here. Down here. Let's just soak it all in. We'll walk through it without doing any talking for some of it. You can see where people are throwing in chairs and that, certainly.
Okay, so we're going to stop for a quick rest and just more so to get a time lapse and soak in this beautiful view. Find a good location for the time lapse. Just up here. Yep, perfect spot. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back and it's 7.36 a.m. We're continuing on from where we left off. Got my 20 minute time lapse, which you'll see inserted in the video somewhere. It might be at the end or wherever I decide to put it. Dusky flathead. This is there. And on this side, Barrowed Javelin. I wonder if it's part of the Barramundi lot. It's an absolutely stunning location. If you ever come to Cairns, check out, check out all this. Come down to the, like the lagoon and then walk along both ways. And you'll see what I mean from the lagoon. Bring your camera. Especially anything for video, photos, absolutely brilliant. Usually you won't have the council worker noise in the background, but you know, shows the things are getting done, so that's great. I love these old pylons being here. Love that they've kept all that. Okay, we'll continue on our walk. So the beautiful cloud formations is across Trinity Inlet. Wow. Well, let's see if I can get it to focus on it properly. Yep. That's about as best as I'll get it. It's amazing, just even like 180 of all this. There's a bit about local fish. Common catches. Oh. Where are we? Mud crab, barramundi, mangrove jack, dusky flathead, giant queen fish, barred javelin, and the king threadfin. Yeah, threadfin, I think it says. 
I put it so I could sing on it. So we'll go for a quick mosey on along here. On our way to our destination. And then I'll be doing a video a different way back from Bunnings. Which will be different than my sugar and shopping center one from a few months ago. So this place up here is where I've been smelling food from. But look at this playground for kids. I've walked through it once before when I was a bit healthier. We climbed through it. And it goes right up into the trees. I don't know that I could go through it now. Oh. Might have a bit of a look, but won't go too far. But it's still a bit wet in here. That's a bit slippery. So what we can. Welcome to the Pig Tree Playground. As stated. Wow. As a child, I would have loved this. great now. <laughs> yeah, beautiful area. This fig tree. So the tree canopy like I love to do. Exposed tree roots, they're all above the ground. There's so much to see and do that I walked it, but normally it take about half an hour. It's going to take longer because it's just so much to see and do, and it's worth it. You are now leaving the fig tree playground. Well, this is not even half of the playground. I just didn't want to walk the rest of it. So what it's like, because you never know. Yeah. Future generations may not get to see all this. They may change it. But it's always worth capturing whatever you can, while you can. And you may not see the significance in taking lots of video and photos around, but think about like years and years later, the changes. You can see you know, what it was like now. Be careful on these slippery stairs. With this painted wood, it can be quite slippery. So you get your wolf wine cafe here. The one where I can smell all the food and there's part of your playground there.
Reminds me of something that treehouse masters would make. It'd be pretty cool to see their version of it, or something that they would build. You will find a cafe along here. Barry Reef Hotel across there. Some turtles represented here. There's one part I haven't walked along for a while this far down. So it's quite interesting for me too. This was here when I came down last. Been here for a few years. It's got the indigenous style artwork on it. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very well done. So what they got up here. Straight above, all these birds, done in the indigenous way. What we'll do is we'll come at it from one end and we'll walk through it and show it straight up. So we'll go straight underneath it. So you can enjoy it. And then we'll show the pole, because it's got all the indigenous style artwork on it as well, like carvings and that. So hopefully we'll be able to show detail. Let's see, we'll come at it from another angle because of the lighting. Yeah, now you'll can you'd be able to see the carvings and that. with the cityscape in the background. It's all carved in there. Very nice. Let's have a look at this tree they've done. Same sort of carvings and that on it. Design. Right. Need a little bit of cleaning down the bottom. Maybe that adds character to it. Cruise Line and Terminal, Wharf 1 Kiosk and Shed 2. Along here. Another nice lot of trees. Cairns City Council has done a, or Cairns Regional Council, whatever they want to be called now, has done a really good job here. Line of stuff here. 
on your map. So we are here right now. What I'm going to be doing is heading up as far along here as as you can with pathways. And then we'll head off and go down here or around here. Yeah, head off and go around here. Past the convention center where we've showed the outside of in my last video. I'll walk to there. Okay, let's continue along. Some nice stuff up here if it's still here. You can see the sort of zigzag roof. Over there, the white roof. That's the Cairns Convention Center. Which is all. This first one here, high rise, is all part of um, Park Regis. I don't know if the next one is with the blue on it, but I know that the first one is on the left. Park Regis. And you got your Barry Reef Hotel. And you got the Cansi Cansino Casino there with the spire thing on the top. Just here, this one. The dome. So it's a um, wildlife dome thing. Okay, it's like a zoo. Okay. Yeah, this is nice when they when this used to be in bloom along here it was really nice. Walking down this spot. Back in the day, it looks like it's dying off. Need a bit of watering. So machinery, what's it say about it here? Let's have a look. Pause to read it if you want to read it in full detail, because I can only show so much. First built in 1908. That is. Wow. So yeah, pause to read it. I'll try and get it as straight as possible so it's easier to read. There we go, it's the straightest it'll allow me to do it. Alrighty then, let's continue on. Nice plants and architecture and things along here. Really nice. Right, we'll look back where we just came from so you can see that from the back, this machinery. Get a bit more of an idea of what it was. Zoom in slightly. A bit more. Amazing. Starting to smell a little here. That's all right, I'm probably in the brewery. See a bit of the brewery in there, I don't know if it's showing up. Cruise liner terminal, well the big ocean liners and that come in. Topped in some really huge ones here. I was hoping one would be here today, but it's not. Landslide restricted zone, no authorized access. There you go. 
up here and all that till they come with the ocean liners as well. Just gonna have a look at these nice flowers. I always like to show, showcase all the flowers and all that around. We're gonna look at the one across from here too. I know it's gonna make the video a bit longer, but it's a nice relaxing video, a nice walk. Feel free to watch all the way through. Would really help. Helps the YouTube YouTube algorithm to, to know that you know, people like the content, so they'll recommend it to people. It'll help me out a lot as a content creator. I mean, you know, I don't get paid for what I do, but it's, it just gets the content out there more. Let's people see it. Yeah, it's well worth the walk if you can. If you come to Cairns to do that whole walk that I, I'm doing. Go towards this big ball thing here. There's the Cairns Cruise Liner Terminal. Right there, the sign for it. The main entrance. We'll have a look at the sphere, or whatever it's meant to be. We'll see what the sign says. Feel free to pause, as like usual. To do with the moon, cast bronze, 2010. Okay, well we'll go. Try and show. You can pause it now. I'll go to the next paragraph so you can read it. Pause now. Another pause, and that'll be the end. And zoom out. Interesting. Well, it's getting close, and have a look at this. As best as we can. Down. There we go. That should do it. We'll try and we'll give it a good 360 of it. not exactly the most sturdiest ground here, but it gives you an idea. to the sign. Try not to lose quality so I'm not going to actually zoom. Just move the camera towards it. Okay, we'll keep going along here. Got there's a bus terminal. All those Cairns War significance written here. So we'll have a quick look at that while we're here. Don't know if I can go any further down. Not too sure. Wharf one to five. So as usual, pause to read. Ah, oh, there's a QR code here. Scan for more information. So should be able to. Do that on your iPhone or Android phone. Leave it long enough so you can scan it. Pause if you want to scan it. There we go. But I'll show the all the writing along here as best as I can.
put it in inlet. Map. I'm guessing that's a map of the way it was. It doesn't say a year on that. Wharf 6. The upgrade project was completed in 2020. Okay. Okay, you can see there's like a, a rail line through here. Okay, well, we'll go all the way down to the end and now uh, we'll keep heading along to our final destination. It's not too, too far away now. It's quite a walk, but worth it. Yeah, I don't know that I can go any further than these bollards or whatever you want to call them up here. That's authorised vehicles only, that sort of stuff. If I can cut through this car park, it'll be fine. This car park just up here. Do not feed the cats, $5,000 per offence under the Queensland Biosecurity and Pest Animals Act, restricted area. Very industrial. Wow. Never know, one day this shed may not exist, so we may have one of the only videos of the back of the shed or that there is online. So I assume there's cats around here. Okay. Don't think probably a lot of people have never ever seen that, that particular spot. Okay, three. Up here. Okay. I think it might be one of those situations where you gotta turn back. I think so. All right, so we'll click mosey on along here, back where we just came from. And then we'll take a left once we get past the shipping containers. Stay tuned for more Cairns videos over the next few days that'll start popping up a few days of the time of me recording this video the 29th of November 2022 going a little bit faster in this spot because I've already shown this and I want to get to my final destination. Now 8.04 AM. Yeah, 8.04. Okay, there's that. Where we just come from before. Here is where you can sit. Nice flowers. Says deep excavation up here, so we're we're not actually going to go where it's dangerous. We're just going to stick to the pathways and outside the um, covered part, good area and all that. Wow, look at that old shed. Imagine what's been seen in there over the years, like the different businesses, the different everything that's been here, the history, even like the amount of people who've worked in there over the years. Uh, think about all the history of all that sort of stuff too it's quite amazing when you think of everything that's happened even in Cairns in the history of Cairns the, the times 
places people have walked, the places people have worked, done things, lived, shopped, did whatever, you know. Yeah, coming here and being here is all part of the history. Yeah. And capturing what I can while I can. What else? If you enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comment section. It really helps to know. For people to let me know. There's a tire there. It's been um, padlocked to the to the tree. A tire. Yeah. Sound like a rat or something in there. So you got to be careful walking in these sort of places. No, it's a lizard. It's a lizard. Looks like a gecko. Yeah. Yeah, this huge shed. All right. Wonder how many years this thing's been here. There's a lot of things amongst these plants along here. You can hear them rattling, moving around when I come along. See, look up here. Just shows, you know, how dilapidated this shed is. It's well, you use the trendy word for nowadays. Um, it's abandoned. People love that word. It's abandoned. Even if it's not, it's just unused. You never know what people have slept in here over the years and all that too. Because like I said, one day, it may not be here. I know it's an ugly old building to most people, but I see the beauty in the old rusty stuff and that. And just think of the people, and yeah, people would have built this, but there would have been people working there, making their money, feed their families and whatever, so, all these structures, so you go from this old thing, building here, the old shed, and then you look across, and you've got all the scaffolding and stuff on the Cairns Convention Centre, with all the works going on there. So, from one extreme to the other. Quite diverse. Yeah, they're doing a huge amount of stuff there. It was supposed to be finished by now, but the people making it have been taking their time. I was reading about it in the Cairns Post newspaper on, the, on their app. I forget who the ones are that are building it, but they are ones I've heard of before. They're doing all this. Looks like it's going to be huge. There's an expansion as well. Expansion and refurbishment. Well, we went to the basketball there last night, and the just that stadium part where you see the basketball was amazing. Like, very well. Well built structure, really nice. Just a nice little drive along here actually when you're driving. I've been in cars going along here before. When before the construction was here, it was nicer. And there's parking. Parking meters where you get your parking tickets and stuff to show what that's like. You never know, that could all change too, as they do. Get it lined up. So, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday, $4 a day, $2 an hour, maximum $4. There you go. Shows you what it takes, let's light the screen up. No. Screen, this one doesn't light up. Takes coins and cash. Okay, coins and credit cards, sorry. 
8, 10 a.m. There's the infrastructure. What was around. Okay, well I can see my destination further along. That's not too far to go. Then this video will be finished. And I'll go do what I gotta do and then I'll start my second video for the day. Which will be Bunnings to Lake Street, a different way. So I'm not going back the same way. If you want to watch it, feel free. Please like, comment, subscribe. All this stuff. We've got no patience waiting for that van to to go in. Van over there. So this is the port of cans. Quicksilver, all that stuff here. Volunteer Coast Guard, all that down here. It's been a very long time since I've walked along here. I've been in the car, like I said before, but walking along here, just a, a bit of a different experience from last time. <laughs> just for me, even seeing the changes, each time I come up here, there's always some, some change somewhere. I mean, for people who live here sometimes, and even my other videos that I do in my local town of Innisfil, um, people think, well, I live here, I can see these places whenever I want. If I want to walk along here, I'll do it. But, you know, a lot of people think, oh, there's no need to capture the video, do all this stuff. But, when you think about, like 20 years from now, people will appreciate these videos a lot more because a lot of these places have changed, some of them may not exist anymore, might be complete ridiculous differences. So it makes it all the, all the more worthwhile to, to get in and just get these done and to regularly do this stuff. So gotta watch out for tree roots and that along here. I should might cross, uh, no, it's a footpath up ahead. Let's keep going this way. I don't know if this is still classed as the Esplanade. I don't think it is. I think it changes. It becomes another street. And it's further up here. There, we'll have a look. The next sign, but there one, might be one on this corner up here. Now we'll see what this street that crosses over is. I think it's Dutton Street, but I'm not sure. So we find out the railway line, which is trains, actual you know, passenger trains, goods trains, and all that. Not just goes down to your Cairns Railway Station, at Cairns Central Shopping Centre, which is straight down there. It'd be hard to see in the video, but it's straight down there. Okay, we'll cross over when, we, when it's safe to. Yeah, this is Dutton Street. This side street here. I'm about to cross over. Oh, Dutton. Reminds me of Peter Dutton. He's in politics. I'm not into politics, but you're hearing about enough on the, on the news. Empire, stop. Secure. Area warning. 
Yeah, I'm not going in there. That side's pretty much gone. <laughs> I'm gonna go twice to the top one. There we go. Got ourselves a footpath. I think all the way to Bunnings. So I can see Bunnings from here. You wouldn't be able to see it in the video, but I can see it. Wow. depots to my left I think even some of it to the right too but you feel depots here get ampile on that the yeah, exercise walk is straight ahead judging by the attire Give them a nod, they could at least you know, acknowledge your existence. Oh, got a bird swooping. So I felt like it. But yeah, so I think, you know, fair's fair, be nice. Wave, say hello, whatever. Petrol stations that were part of the fuel, fuel depots along here. And across there, there's another one. As you can see, some of them you can tell what they would have been by the, the color schemes and that. That one, it's got a car, an old car wash. Where that sort of dark blue stripe is. You can sort of see it. Hmm, interesting. Good morning. Trying to be nice, they just give you weird looks. What happened to the days where. There you go. Good morning. Yeah, you know, where that sort of stuff was just normal thing to say, to be nice and friendly to people, even in cities. Now, they just give you the evil eye and you say it to them. Some people are really nice. Like I find it in this file, you'll find that some people are really nice with it. And I'll say hello without me saying anything first. Yeah, that's the old turbo there. And that street there is... Too hard to read. There we go. <laughs> too hard to read. Ah, this is Kenny Street. This one we're on is Kenny Street. So it becomes Kenny Street, of course. Fortunately, of course. It's interesting to observe this area. A bit more detail than normal. Because, you know, if you're just driving along, you don't really see detail as much. You've got Nick Scarly up ahead, and Anaconda, and a few other places. Which you can actually see in my um, Bunnings to Showground Shopping Centre video that I took in September, I think it was. When I was up here. So, feel free to have a look at that. Or I walk through the car park and you can see detail. Ah, oh, there's a shell service station here which might be the perfect spot for me to get a cola flavored carbonated beverage. Soda, also known as soft drink, after I go to Bunnings. Where I might start my next video around there or pause it and go in. It's a Marino's, I think, or Marino's, however you say that one. But it's a shell, nonetheless. Lowe's VP. Got our WES. Got Amart Furniture over there. Nick Scarly and a condo, like I said. Ooh. Bunnings Warehouse. there. 
So we're getting closer to it. And we'll see what this side street is. Grapefruit Street, yep. I remember what most of them are, but I want to make sure so I get the right information. So if you go left on Draper Street, you can end up at Road Jones Drive, Access Road, Southern Access Road, or whatever. A lot of people like to call it different things. But there's your, there's your Shell service station. Across there. I don't know if that's a full on one. Oh, it says there's a food to go. So I might be able to get a drink there and that. Genix Scarly, A Mart, and all that. Across there. Draper Street. We'll head up to the crossing. Zoom out a bit so we can see again the detail. Well, that's the bike lane, this is the pedestrian one. So there's a separate one, separate crossing. You can see there, a separate one. Where we just come from, that direction. Wow. A lot of traffic this hour of the day, people going to work in that. Amazing. Quite amazing traffic. Traffic, 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 and more traffic. I wish the traffic lights would, would favour pedestrians that are out in the sun, out in the rain, out in the whatever. But they don't. Then I'll pack the camera up, then I'm going to unpack it again <laughs> yeah it's one of those situations when you go into these sort of places you've got to pack up all your equipment unless you've got someone with you and they can wait outside then you got to unpack it and set it all up again which is fine it's all right i can get across into the middle okay no crossing across here. They expect you to go across there and then cross over there where that Kenny city centre sign is and go across there and across there. That is crazy. That is not the smartest solution and not a solution that a lot of people would like. So I might wait for the next lot of lights and mosey on into the middle. And once this lot goes, I can get across. Okay, it might have been faster to go the other way, but who knows. Is anyone gonna turn? No, so I can actually get into the middle. Well, I'm being safe, safe as I can be in the situation that I'm in. So it'll be a bit of a wait. <laughs> Most of these cars are turning. It's just silly the way they've got it designed. It's, it should be a four-way thing. At least. But it shows you how it is at the moment. <laughs> it might change the way they do it. Wait for all these cars. Okay, thanks to traffic lights, you can go. Oh, that's someone's car alarm going off. That's your Draper Street down there. And Draper Street that way. And Bunnings. 
Now they don't make it easy for pedestrians as usual. This is the thing, when they're building places like this, it's more about cars. Don't worry about pedestrians, even though they've got footpaths around it. They just make it a little harder to go through because you look at this here, down here, all that there. It's flat here so I can get through as best as I can. Okay. So I finally made it to Bunnings in Cairns. Wow. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel, helps it to grow, helps the algorithm. Turn it, put it on all your social media. Let people know about it. Check out the other playlists, the Innocent stuff, the radio playlists, different other things that I like that are in there. Lots of Innocent videos, lots of Cairns videos. And surrounding areas and that. So feel free to enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is Bestest Times. Keeping memories alive.